We got our work cut out for us, Saints. Deception 101. I'm going to let this play, then I'm going to talk. Paul always warned the churches that he wrote to against false teachers. Mm -hmm. He never named who they were. Peter warned against false teachers. Jude warns, warns against false teachers. He doesn't tell you who they are. Right. The only people that they name are people that they have direct, that they had direct relationship with or mm -hmm. di direct proximity to. Mm -hmm. So they weren't like, I heard this guy in Florida mm -hmm. preaching this stupid message. They, they weren't saying these people's names. Right. When, when, when Paul starts talking about Alexander and Philetus and Hymenaeus and Hermogenes, he knows these guys. Right. He's worked with these guys. Right. And he's writing letters to other people that know them as well. Right. It would be like, you told me, hey, man, I'm going to be doing something. I'm just making up a name, so yeah. this is not anybody we know. Hey, man, I'm going to be doing something with Pastor Greg mm -hmm. at, you know, 123 Church yeah. in February of next year. Do you know him? Yeah. If I know that dude is willingly, willfully, disrespectfully and egregiously yeah. practicing sin, mm -hmm. not something I heard. I'm talking about. Actually, no. Yeah. I know. Right. I would be like, hey, Nick. I might even text you, hey yeah. Nick, which is all Paul's letters are our text messages, right? right? right. I just want to, well, I just want you to know, watch out for Pastor Greg. Right. He has literally been preaching a doctrine just to get people's money. Okay, a few things. Number one, Paul, Peter, and Jude didn't call every false teacher out by their names because they didn't have access to every last one of them. That's number one. Number two. Paul, Peter, Jude was writing for future tense. He wasn't just writing for that time right there. He's talking about future. And I'm going to show you in the text pretty soon. But do understand something else. Paul, Peter, Jude, the apostles, they didn't have TV. They didn't have Instagram. They didn't have TikTok. They didn't have YouTube. They didn't have access like we have access to each other in this day and age. So we're able to go on. Uh, uh, social media and scroll and see uh, a quote unquote preacher or bishop or a guy like this saying any old thing. We have a crazy amount of access, way more access to other people and other and other countries and other time zones than Paul and Peter ever had. You know what I'm saying? So, of course, they didn't call out every false teacher by their name. But I guarantee you, if they had Instagram and they seen Tim Ross, I guarantee he'll call them out. Guarantee he'll call them out by name. Because you know what they teaching. You go on YouTube and it's tons of videos that are up with these people teaching. But, of course, we let the Bible preach and teach God's people on this page. So, let's go to the text. This is Acts chapter 20. Um, verses uh, 17 through 36, Paul is speaking to the elders at Ephesus because he's about to go to Jerusalem. You know, so he's speaking to the elders and admonishing them, uh, reminding them of what he taught, how he moved around them and so on and so forth. So starting at verse 28. Pay careful attention to yourselves and to all the flock in which the Holy Spirit has made you overseers to care for the church of God, which he obtained with his own blood. I know that after my departure, fierce wolves will come in among you, not sparing the flock. And from among your own selves will arise men speaking twisted things to draw you away, to draw away the disciples after them. So here in this text, Paul is clearly, clearly warning the elders of Ephesus that wolves will be coming in the church after his departure, after his departure, and some will also arise among them. Why will he be able to name future false teachers, future wolves, future false prophets by name. Yes, he warned them, but it was from a future tent standpoint. And the ones that he did know, he called them out and marked them 
and told the people to avoid them. This is deception 101. 101. He don't tell the full story. He's trying to get you to not talk about false teachers and false prophets because uh, um, he twisted a fact to make it fit a narrative as if this is why he don't call out people on social media. The reason why he don't call out so people on social media is because he's a charlatan himself. He's a false teacher himself. He's a heretic himself. And he's trying to lure people away with his ability to speak his gift of gab, just like they all do. Deception is at an all time high. And you know what else is at an all time high? Biblical ignorance. And that is a crazy mix. It is a detrimental, dangerous mix. But it's a great mix for the evil one. Because he don't got to do too much work. Because people are not reading their Bibles. Get into your Bible. Grow into maturity. Allow the Holy Spirit to do a work inside of you to continue to do the work inside of you so that your spiritual gifts of discernment and stuff like that could grow and become stronger so that you be able to tell what's right and what's almost right. Grace and peace.